Last red to black. Best of nine to reach the semi-finals. The Home Nation series, it's a 10-year series initially, so next year will be the last one. But whatever happens in the future, let's hope it continues. But if it doesn't, this event surely has got to carry on. It's such a, a highlight of the, the season coming here. Judge Trump enjoys it, doesn't he? He'd like to play every event here as he knocks that long red. Three. Must be tight this as to whether he's on that red by the side of the pink. Yeah, again, he can get through to it all right. It's another part of his game that's so good. I mean, he's got the cue speed to really put spin on the ball, get the cue ball out of a fairly awkward position. And get stuck in the bunch when he hits it like that with that speed spin. <coughs> Saying yesterday, I don't really know who you can compare him to as a player. He's a bit unlucky there, is he? No, he's very much his Eight. own player, the brand of snooker. I think he can just get through. He kind of controlled aggression all the time. He puts a lot of very tough balls sort of almost with monotonous regularity in the middle of breaks. You know, his cue ball is not as immaculate as other players, but he just keeps going. It's always been the same. Yeah, he sort of sees all parts of the table during a break, doesn't he? But invariably, they, they just go in. Well, that has not gone to plan. This is, I guess, the problem. If the cue ball is travelling, you know, there's more likelihood something's going to go wrong if it's travelling a long distance. In and out of bulk on this occasion. Yes, I mean, the man who... The trophy's named after Alex Higgins. He had his own way of doing things, didn't he? And, and you know, he was unorthodox, but it worked for him. He really was unorthodox. I played him a number of times, and he, he often would play a certain shot from A to B in a way that no other player on the tour would play it. You know, and his technique was different. He lots of moving parts, but, of course, he had that X factor, and he had that sort of little bit of magic about him, didn't he? Which... Uh, you know, not every snooker player, as good as they are, have all got that. Yeah, our friend and colleague, Clive Everton, who passed away recently, he said every Alex Higgins match was an emotional occasion if you were in the arena. People were invested in him as much as the snooker he was playing. It's great that these legends are remembered with these trophies. Sean Murphy, the only home nation's title he won the Welsh Open. That's the Ray Reardon trophy. Of course, Ray sadly passed away in the summer. Chance to get the cue ball figure of eight round the angles here and behind yellow or probably brown if he plays it that way. So it's a very popular sort of shot which often sends the cue ball into quite awkward places. 
not got a snooker, but still applied some pressure. Uh, Murphy, I think you could see the disappointment that losing that first frame as Judd was about to win it. It's just the last thing he needed to lose a frame, having made a decent break at the start of it. Doesn't set a very good trend for the evening. They all count the same, but it doesn't feel like that when you're out there. He's so good at picking up the pieces these days. To give a thin edge of one of these reds. That's a good shot because he was over the top of uh, the brown there with no easy cueing. the error that Murphy is looking for. there that, that's absolutely fine good rest shot wasn't it you know he like really got hold of it keep whoops that he flew back Again, he's going to have to work fairly hard for this break, as in the, the first frame, with the, there was a red by the side of the, the black for the most part, and he did ever so well to get as many as he did. So this is not a completely dissimilar sort of scenario. The ball's awkward. Hello.
Seventeen. Eighteen. There's only really one way to put aside the disappointment 20. of losing a narrow frame, and that's win the next one. 25. Trump was in first here, of course. Of course, Murphy beat him. Judd Trump, this is on his Crucible debut, and he was uh, only 17 back in 2007. He was a very raw, certainly a talent then, but 32. he really was a potter in those days. Yeah, I seem to remember that match. He played his part in it, and everyone was speaking about Judd, but it was a little bit too much for him, I think, on debut. More recently, Murphy beat him in the quarterfinals at the Crucible in 2021. So he's had some high-profile wins, just not of late. He's lost the last five. 13. He's almost at the point where he will make the frame safe. Fifty-three. Just needs this pink and another red to avoid it. a repeat of frame one. Looks to be playing well, doesn't he? You know, tonight I know he came unstuck in the first frame, but he looks pretty good. He played well against Bingham. Let's be honest. He was three-one down, and Bingham was playing well. He nearly had a maximum break. He was on for a maximum in the frame he'd won, but the comeback in that match tells me that he's very close to his best. Not to get all the way around for red, but even then he'd be more than happy with this. 66. Yeah, we'll see whether Trump feels like coming back or not here. 55 behind, 43 on. John Murphy, 66. Yeah. On the frame. Deciding against it. 